Welcome to FM Education Academy. In this video lecture, we will be seeing the General Science Biological Science Objective Question Paper which is Part B which was of 10 marks of the year 2022. But before that, a lot of time and hard work is required in making these videos for you all. So please, if you find this video helpful, then Now let's begin. So the first question is the stages of urine formation in sequential order. That is it is asking us how is urine formed. All the four stages are mentioned in your textbook right. The mechanism of urine formation. First stage is glomerular filtration. Second stage tubular reabsorption. Third stage tubular secretion. And fourth stage formation of hypertonic urine which is also called as formation of concentrated urine okay so these are my stages so where is first option glomerular filtration okay all are having first as glomerular filtration what about tubular reabsorption fourth one first fourth this is first this is second this is third and this is fourth so we have first okay then fourth then second and then third so it is option a for first question second question is which chemical is kept in the glass bottle in the experiment to prove that carbon dioxide is essential for photosynthesis so we know you have to see the activity of carbon dioxide is essential for photosynthesis which is it is it iodine methylated spirit potassium hydroxide or alcohol we see in this activity that Potassium hydroxide pellets or potassium hydroxide solution is kept in the bottle. Okay, KOH which is also called as. So, what is my answer? Potassium hydroxide option C for second question. Third question is number of cells and nuclei present in the flowering plant is what? In the embryo sac. So, this question is also there in your textbook in the reproduction chapter. Yes. But actually it is in the topic structure of the ovule of your TSSCRT textbook. Okay. So the uh, number of cells and number of nuclei are how many? 7 cells and 8 nuclei. See, the majority of flowering plants have an embryo sac which consists of 7 cells and 8 nuclei. So which option consists of uh, 7 cells and 8 nuclei? It is option A, 7 cells and 8 nuclei. Okay. Next question, fourth question, observe the following experimental setup and find out the result. So here, which activity do you see here? Sprouted seeds are there, a bottle is there and in that you have a beaker with a lime water. So we know it is taken from the chapter respiration. Okay, in the PDF which I had shared, I had earlier before the exam, I had showed you this picture also. Remember? So this was activity 3, okay, which was there on page 41. So if you carefully observed this experiment this experiment was conducted to find out that carbon dioxide is released or evolved during respiration so we know that whenever carbon dioxide is evolved during respiration then as it contains lime water lime water turns into milky white or lime water con uh, uh, turns into it says as this it is option sorry it's option a lime water turns milky white okay Now it turns milky white option A. Next question, option 5. Identify the correct statement from the following. Option A is oxygenated blood is present in right auricle and left ventricle. Option B is oxygenated blood is present in right and left auricles. Option C, oxygenated blood is present in right ventricle and left ventricle. Option D, oxygenated blood is present in left auricle and left ventricle. Auricle is also called as atrium. Remember that. We know in heart, right, we have four parts two are atriums and other one is ventricle and we know one will be left side and one will be right side and to us what appears is right is our left side so if you observe in the figure of structure of heart we know that from the lungs oxygenated blood is being sent to left atrium okay as you can see in the figure left atrium and left ventricle 
left atrium and left ventricle has oxygenated blood okay it is sent by the lungs and right atrium and right ventricle has deoxygenated blood means blood which is not contain of oxygen so which side of the heart contains uh, oxygenated blood left side that is left atrium and left ventricle which is also uh, atrium is also called as left auricle so it is option number oxygenated blood is present in left auricle and left ventricle it is option d okay next sixth question a person's blood pressure was written by doctor as 160 by 110 what does it indicate we know that in the textbook we learned in the uh, bio textbook that the normal blood pressure of human body is 120 by 80 since it is more than 120 it is 160 and this value is 110 which is more than 80 so both are more 160 is more than 120 110 is more than 80 this is a normal blood pressure 120 by 80 so we can see here that it is high blood pressure 160 by 110 is high blood pressure that is nothing but option number c seventh question is observe the following figure and identify the endocrine gland present so this figure was given in your textbook this figure is that remember the chapter coordination the story of insulin this figure was given and it was on page number 105 we can see clearly this figure which is given is of pancreas okay so what is this this is pancreas so the answer is option b pancreas okay next one next question question number 8 match the following and identify the correct answers cerebrum function is asked cerebellum function is asked medulla oblongata function is asked and diencephalon function is asked so here we can see that it is and what is the function of cerebrum it is in textbook right c cerebrum cerebrum is a seat of mental abilities it controls thinking memory reason which option says as thinking memory reason it is said by b so we know that for first bit we have b option okay first bit we have b option so either it can be b option or c option then what is the function of cerebellum the function of cerebellum is equilibrium and voluntary movements see here it is cerebellum it con coordinates voluntary movements and equilibrium okay it is there in cerebellum as you can see the function so here what is the answer for first we have b for second we have c okay and for third we have medulla oblongata medulla oblongata is a center for cardiac and respiratory activities see that is also there see the function of medulla oblongata in the textbook coordinates center contains center for cardiac respiratory and vasomotor activities that is of medulla oblongata so we have 1b 2c 3d 1b 2c 3d and 4a diencephalon is a center for emotions and muscular activity c diencephalon muscular activities okay next question is question number 9 which is identify incorrect statement from the following for this you need to know what are the correct statements we know we read in the reproduction chapter that testis produces sperm so this is true an embryo growing in the mother's womb has four layers chorion amnion allantois and yolk sac that is also true c copper's glands are present in female reproductive system that is false copper's glands are produced present in male reproductive system not female reproductive system so option c is false and also we know that sperms are motile motile means they move so option d is also true so what is the incorrect statement option c next 10th question is homologous organs means so we know that homologous organs are the organs okay as you can see in this picture that which looks similar in structure you can see that all are similar in structure but they perform different activities for example man performs activities like eating drinking writing cheetah it uses this four limbs to run whale uses this four limbs to swim 
bat uses his four limbs to fly so all the four functions are different and this picture is also there in your textbook in the chapter in your textbook okay uh, so here what is my answer the homologous organs are the organs which are similar in structure but different in function so which option says us that which are similar in structure but different in function it is said by option number b okay it is there in heredity and evolution chapter okay so this completes our objective questions okay i hope you have found this video helpful if you have found this video helpful then share this video with your friends like this video and also please subscribe to this channel and stay tuned to this channel thank you very much for watching may god bless you all